Hi, this Brideface tutorial is about how to import uh, components or an entire class into another Brightspace shell. So uh, you're going to go to the actual course that you want to import the information into. Go to Course Admin. Um, mine is defaulted to name, but realize yours might look different because your page is set up by category. So under name, it's going to be right here under import, export, copy components. Right? So the first thing you need to do is you need to figure out the, uh, you, the class that you're going to import from, or if you have a, a zipped file, you can import it from here, right? So, but we're just going to say, what if I just have it from one class to the next, right? So, uh, talking about that, you can export. This is where you would export. Let's say that this is the class that I want to send. And let's say that, you know, you're the person that's put together the course that other teachers are going to also use, or there's a particular unit that you're going to be sharing with others. Uh, you could actually just export that one part or the whole thing, zip it up as a zip file, and then you could share that with other people that they could import it into their class and up open it, right? So that's what that one's for, but I'm just gonna show you how you can import uh, an entire class and then also specific components only. So first of all, you're gonna search for the class that you wanna import from. So that means you need to type in the section number, I mean the course ID, a space, and then the section number if it's a specific class. Then you're gonna see all of those. And so if you've been teaching a while, you're probably gonna have uh, multiple classes with the same section number. So make sure you've got the right semester. And you're gonna hit Add Selected, right? Now what I wanna do is I want to either select all of the class, so I click that and then it's really easy, or I might just wanna select certain components. So let me just walk you through uh, what how to do just a selected component, right? So you see all of the different um, aspects here of the class that you can import from. So let's just say I want to pick up an assessment, right? If I want to do every assessment from that class, then I'd say copy all items. But if I want to select just an individual or one or two of those tests or quizzes, then I want to select that there. I can also then come in and do multiples of these. Right, and then hit continue. Now nothing is imported yet because I have to tell them underneath all of those assessments, what are the ones I want to do. So here it's gonna show grade items. So let's say that I've got these tests. I can either import all of the test grade items or I can just import specific ones. Then I hit continue. Here are the assessments so I can See that I've got some assessments that don't have a category, some are under exams, some are under quizzes. All right, so let's say I just want to do quiz one. And then I'm going to hit continue. And now these are the announcements. So I just said announce, so I can again continue. Or if I say, you know what, I don't need any of those announcements, I can just leave it blank and then I can hit continue. All right? Uh, these, again, same thing here. If I decide I don't want to do that after all, then I can just hit continue or I can identify which ones I want to. Now it's going to confirm which of these that I'm going to copy. And if I've made a mistake, I can modify it if I need to offset the date. So let's say that my class was set up for a Monday, Wednesday, Friday course um, starting June 1st. I can actually offset it, move it forward by one day and 24 hours. So that means that if something is always due on Monday, but that this is a Tuesday, Thursday course, but it's always due at the same time, then I can do it that way. Sometimes you have multiple select sections on the same, and let's say that it's the same day, it's not that, but it's like an hour difference, right? Um, then, then I'm, okay, so this is, I've got three comp ones on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, nine, 10, and 11. I could do this here and I could just say zero days, it's gonna be the same day, but I only want it moved up one hour, right? And then I can finish and um, it will import everything for me, right? If I'm gonna do the whole course, then that's even easier. 
you got to put that space between your class and your section number, all right? Then I'm just going to hit copy all components and it's going to copy it, right? Now I can then review and manage dates by clicking this uh, option and it's going to allow me to come down and I can scroll down and I can see if there are any dates like this one, but there's no X here. So that means that I can't change this date here. I'd have to go back and change it someplace else. But if it has an X by it, I can click that and it'll delete it. If it has an X, but it has this, right? And it's not letting me change that. That means that it's on the calendar. So I've added that to the calendar outside of it. So let me see, oh, it'll allow me to do it. Sometimes it won't allow you to uh, delete that on the calendar if it's got a check mark. Sometimes it will, I, I don't know why. Uh, it's just one of those interesting, uh, okay, so right here, I bet it won't let me to do it. Oh, well, no. Okay, it won't. So I have to unclick that and then click there. So I don't know why, you know. Um, so I can continue to do that if I want to change those dates there. And then I can go back to my course home and now I'm gonna see that everything is populated. My calendar has uh, all the due dates there. Uh, now, again, I've done this and I've deleted all those dates, but there are some dates that don't get deleted. And so you just have to go back and fix it. So you can click it here. You can edit. Now, the problem here is that it's not going to allow you to just temporarily get rid of the date. You have to set a date. So unless if you don't know what the new date is, you need to change it by going to where you created the assignment which might be on the content page, uh, like right here. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure where it is, but again, there might, there's, again, it's, it's not as streamlined as we'd like it. There might be multiple places that you have to change, but again, oh, there it is right there. <laughs> uh, I would have to then just change this and delete it here if I'm not ready to set up the date. Like for this class, I'm having to transform a five week class into a 16 week class. And so, yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of differences in the dates. It's not gonna just be a matter of set it for 24 hours or something like that, right? So I wanna take out all of these dates and kind of start that from scratch, but at least everything is set up uh, the way I want it to, except for those kind of things. And, and like here, the date there as well. So uh, I hope that helps you understand how you can import. Again, you can contact me if you have a question or anybody else that's a Brightspace aficionado on campus. Bye-bye.